Easy now, folks. So in my last video, I showed you that I've got some of this Origin Aquatic Nutrition Fish Food, which I really like, by the way. And one of the ones I'd ordered was this, these stick-on grazers. And there should have been a food clip to attach it to, but it was missing. So, oh, nearly gave away my next video there. So I contacted them and I said, what's the sketch with that? And they said, yeah, look, that was a mistake. We'll send you one out. And I said, well, hold on, because I'm going to make another order here. So you might as well throw it in with that, which is exactly what they did. So I have my food clip now. Really glad that they remembered to do that. Thanks very much. And I ordered three more of their flavors. I got the show color. I got the supreme green soft pellet. And I also got the fire red cichlid formula. So that I wouldn't have reordered more of it if I wasn't really, really impressed with it. Certainly not as quickly as I did. So I hope that's an indication of what I think about it. I'm not going to go too in depth about it this time round because we did the video last last week. I think it was. If you want to have a look at that, we did a few tests on the food and kind of gave us an indication of how good it is. But we'll have a quick look at the new foods and also how to set up the food clip and well, a couple of seconds of the the fish using it. I've got to hand it to the artist again, by the way. These packets just look absolutely fantastic, don't they? I think they're really, really cool. It's not what we base our food on. That's not a deciding factor, but it certainly helps, doesn't it, to get excited. I'm loving these. Setting up the food clip is pretty straightforward. <laughs> as straightforward as it looks. You just pop the cap off, put your food grazer over the top of the suction cup, and then replace the cap to stop the food falling off once your fish start nibbling at it. I said in the last video, this stuff almost looks good enough to eat. And somebody, Tara's Tank Friends, <laughs> asked me what it tasted like. I can't believe somebody would actually think I would put it in my mouth. Can't believe you might actually think I'd give it a go, Tara. Anyway, since you asked, it tastes like shipping's really quick, by the way. I got mine within 24 hours, which is the same as last time, pretty quick. Can't really say fairer than that, can you? Not going to read out everything on the bags again either, but see that? Zero fillers. Got to love that, and yeah. They all come in the same Stay Fresh bags with the Ziploc seal. And this one, let's have a quick look. Oh, look at this. We never get sun here. Never. And one day we do. It's trying to ruin my video, man. I'm trying to throw shade. Yeah, look, that's kind of a a rounded kind of more moist feeling food moist but still holds together and doesn't stick together it smells amazing by the way it smells wholesome if a fish food can smell wholesome i don't know a wee pick out i noticed from this packet uh antioxidants vitamins so much so that we only recommend feeding this food in short intensive bursts or in as an enhancement feed alongside their highly nutritious origin staple diet products so this is for fish that you really want to pop maybe you are going to show them or maybe you're going to make a wee youtube video or maybe you've got pals coming around adding this for a couple of days should really enhance their colors make them look stunning these grains feel a lot more dry and uh not sturdy hard <laughs> they feel hard they're a nice size for your medium and large fish and then on the back of this one here, can't remember what I wanted to say about this, but do you know what? There is so much good information and promising features to this food on the back of the packets, and every single one is different. Another thing I like, it's not the same old lazy copy and paste, yeah, this food is all right, give it a go, hope you like it. Every different food tells you a little bit about it, how to use it, and what you might expect. It's the little things, isn't it? It's the small details that scream quality, to me anyway. So this is like a small, crisp-like formula. Again, I think it's going to hold together well. well. We'll have a look. We'll throw it in the tank in a minute and see what we think. But, yeah, I'm loving all the different blends and the different options we've got. It is definitely going to be my primary dry food for the next wee while, alongside, obviously, live, frozen and whatnot. 
Now we've had a look at it. Let's see what the fish think. So we'll start with our wee grazer. Just stick that on the side of the tank. And before long, I think we'll see a lot of interest. There we go. There's the Roslines getting in while they can before the, the cichlids turn up, I would imagine. Again, the loaches and the Corys really interested right away. But it's a big blue Acara that's getting first dibs again. Electric blue Acara, anyway. Obviously, you can place this wherever you want in your tank. And it's a really, really nice idea for viewing your fish in a different way, encouraging them to the front of the glass or the side of the glass so you can get a good look, check out their health while you're there and maybe take some photos to share with your friends. I'm not totally sure if I'm imagining this or seeing it because I want to see it, but I've been feeding the Origin food for a week and I do think my fish are looking better. I think they're looking brighter and healthier. Now, a lot of their foods hold really, really well together in the water. We had a wee look at that in the last video. Don't mind the algae on the glass, by the way. I'm trying to cultivate that, in fact, for a review on a algae scraper that I've got. But yeah, most, most of the foods hold together really well. This grazer is going to pull apart as the fish nibble on it. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. It means some of it's going to sink down to the bottom, so your bottom feeders are going to get it, and other fish feeding from the water column that aren't first to the table are going to get some of the feast. And what they don't gobble up within a few hours, your, your filter's going to pick the rest up. And You don't have to stick it on the food clip, of course. You can break a wee bit off and toss it in the bottom. Give your bottom feeders, your shrimp and your snails a chance to have a go, but <laughs> you see how excited they are there's no denying they want to eat it and when you have a closer look at the ingredients as well well there's no wonder why so we'll toss some of the new flavors i got in the top of the tank and see what the fish make of it and while i do that i'll clear up a couple of things first of all delivery is free there's no shipping charge and i think the prices are very very reasonable for such a quality product i'm not saying it's the cheapest fish food on the market but it isn't the dearest either and for the quality you're getting i think it's more than fair i have been speaking to the origin guys and they have said that there are well they're always working on new blends there's a omnivore soft pellet on the way and they're also looking at offering the fire red and the show color in smaller sizes for the smaller fish so Watch out for them coming soon. Unfortunately, this food isn't available in the US or Australia or anywhere like that at the moment. I did speak to the guys and they said we don't ship directly to the EU. Brexit, uh, Brexit has made that impossible, but we do have a few selected resellers across Europe. So, you know, hopefully if we can help to make this food more popular, we'll maybe see them branch out in the future. And I definitely think it is a brand worth investing in both emotionally and with your pocket don't take my word for it check it out yourself see what you think try it if you love it let me know if you hate it let me know let me know why as well but i can't see a reason why you would be disappointed i'm chuffed i discovered it i'm gonna put my neck out and say at the moment it is my favorite dry food I think it's the first dry food that I reviewed, by the way, or let you guys know about it. And the reason I'm letting you guys know about it is because I think it's great and I wanted to share it with you so you guys can enjoy it too. I think the stick-on grazers are going to be fantastic and good fun for you pleco keepers. Unfortunately, I couldn't show you that. I only have one pleco, a green phantom, which I really, really was excited about. My most expensive fish that I've ever bought, 50 quid. And this is the most I've ever seen of him. Ah, well, you can't win them all, can you? Right, I'm out. Later, 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 later.